Amy at EuroluxHome.com. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you enjoy learning about European antiques, remember to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and maybe even share it with a friend who might also enjoy learning about European antiques. I'm often asked how to tell if a piece of furniture is truly an authentic antique or how I date or judge the age of something. And to be honest, it's really all about experience. I've been a professional antiques dealer for the past 20 years, so I thought I would give you some of the things that I look at when I see age on a piece. It really is an art and science. It's a combination of observation, research, knowledge about historical styles of furniture, knowledge about construction techniques and materials. So really you become a bit of a furniture detective or a sleuth and you gather clues and put them all together and then come up with your answer. Now, I will suggest maybe you'll want to seek the professional opinion of a personal property appraiser to check your findings. So, let's take step one, figure out exactly what you have. So sometimes people call antiques by different names. A bed or a table is pretty straightforward, but a piece like this behind me, sometimes uh, there's lots of different ways people call it. We call this a buffet. Sometimes people say sideboard or hutch or break front or china cabinet. So figure out the words that people use to describe what you have. Next, you want to figure out the style. That really is the first starting point when you're trying to determine what you have, uh, what the age of something is. So familiarize yourself with the historical styles of antiques. How can you do that? Well, right here on EuroluxHome.com, we did a whole big series about the historical overview of the styles of European antiques. So you'll want to watch through that and see if you can identify what your piece is. Uh, you can also go to the library, check out some reference books, or seek other online resources such as worthpoint.com or antique collector websites. So, you're going to want to start a checklist and you'll want to make notes as you go along so that you gather all of this information. And today I'm going to give you a five point checklist of how you begin, can begin to identify the style. So, number one is you're going to check out the overall shape and silhouette of the piece. Is it a great big tall and ornate piece? Maybe then it's Victorian. Maybe it's low and long and sleek, unadorned. Maybe that means it's a mid-century modern piece. So write down some ideas of what you actually see on the piece. Next, you're going to want to check out the legs and the feet. That gives you lots of clues. For instance, maybe it's ball and claw. That tells you that it's Chippendale, which is a subset of the Georgian style. Maybe it's that curvy cabriole leg. That gives you the clue that it's a Rococo or Louis XV piece, but it could also be French country. Maybe it has straight fluted legs, which gives you the idea that maybe it's a Louis XVI piece or empire. So make your notes, maybe even draw the leg itself so when you're researching it, you'll have it right there in front of you. Next, you'll want to assess the ornamentation on the piece. Is it very heavily carved? Does it have lots of designs on it? What are the designs? Uh, for instance, maybe if you see lots of, of curves and swoops and swirls, or maybe a big S curve up at the top, that is a telltale hallmark of the Louis XV style or Rococo. Uh, or maybe it's very plain and you really don't see any carvings at all. Maybe what catches your eye is the beautiful graining of the wood. Maybe there's not even hardly any hardware on the piece. That might give you the idea that it's a Louis Philippe piece. So after you've figured out the ornamentation, maybe even sketch some of those things so you'll have that in your, your detective notebook. Next, you're going to look and see, is it symmetrical 
or asymmetrical because different styles focus on symmetrical or asymmetrical. Behind me is a Renaissance style piece. Renaissance style is all based on balance and order and it's very rectilinear. Whereas uh, Art Nouveau, the part of that style is being asymmetrical and it usually has curving, flowing, organic uh, curves to it. So really thinking about is it curvy, is it rectilinear, is it symmetrical, is it asymmetrical? And finally, you're going to move on and really look at the upholstery, if it has it on a sofa or a chair. And maybe the actual material or the design or pattern on the material might give you a little sense of the age of the piece. Now do keep in mind that upholstery can be changed, so that's one of the less reliable things, but it's something to take into account. So once you've identified the style, know that this is, this is really just your starting point. It's where you get started. So for instance, if you figured it out that it's a Georgian piece, well, that brings your attention to the 18th century. If it's a Victorian piece, that's more likely to be the 19th century. If it has lots of swoops and swirls and, and looks really futuristic, maybe it's from the 1920s or 30s and is Art Deco. So really figuring out the style helps you link to the time period and it's your starting place. I hope you found that this video was interesting and helped give you some tips for figuring out how to tell if a piece of furniture is truly an antique. Come back next week and I'll keep telling you more about how to figure out clues to judge the age of an antique piece of furniture. Remember to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and maybe even share it with a friend who might also enjoy learning about European antiques. <laughs>